I am really not looking forward to recording this segment because I have already talked about this. Let me just read what I wrote here on Nyanet. The My Hero Academia community has a problem on Twitter. People who constantly hate on this show for social media engagement. It's so pathetic that numerous people will even borderline plagiarize previous tweets that bashed Hero Aka and went viral so they can get the same engagement without any effort at all. Sometimes that doesn't work. The tweets flop. Sometimes it does work exceedingly well. I've seen some tweets that were copied get more engagement, more likes, more retweets, etc. than the original tweet that they were basically copying. For example, on October 13th, 2019, I released a video titled, People on Twitter are targeting My Hero Academia with recycled arguments to brigade it down. That was back in October of 2019. Now here we are talking about the same thing, people recycling arguments. It's so pathetic. And that is happening right now, again, as I record this segment. Let's take a look. Starts with that one Easy Gintama fanboy who shows these images. I'm not going to click them because I will show you them in the article. I got them there, but I do appreciate the compilation and the tag. Appreciate the news tip, that one Easy Gintama fanboy. And he says, it's always the same dang tweets. It really is. It really is. You can imagine when I saw this, what was going through my mind. This is exactly it. You probably already know. Here we go again. Or something like that. Oh my gosh, here we go again. You get the idea. Now going back to the Nyanet report that I worked on here, I'm going to give you the context behind the recycled arguments. For those who have not been following the channel for a while, if you have, you already know this stuff. And I'll try to get through this pretty quickly. So in 2018, this person, Spooky Lemon, uh, Lemmy, complained about Momo's outfit, comparing the manga to the anime and saying, okay, we gotta have a talk here, Studio Bones. My screenshots are a little bit scuffed because I don't have the images saved anymore. I had to go back to my video and take screenshots of this. The video is also linked. It's a hyperlink in this article. If you want to take a look, I will link this article in the description. But here's the point. September 30th, 2018, crying about Momo's outfit. This other person then on October 12th, 2019, copies the same complaint basically and slightly different images. Actually, I, yeah, slightly different images from the manga and uh, says, Hi, Studio Bones. Can you explain to me how her chest went from this to that? Crying about the anime animation, just like the person had previously done in 2018. They did it in 2018, they did it in 2019, and now apparently in 2020, they are also recycling that argument. You have this person now, I'm just going to refer to them as K. I have no idea what their at actually says or means, and I think I don't want to. And they say, can we talk about this for a second? Can we talk about this for a second? You know what? People have already talked about this for well over a second. You are years late, but you don't really care about that, do you? What do you care about? Probably social media engagement, and that's it. K says... Can we talk about this for a second? Links to those pictures you can see there. And then says, why the heck does this have over 10 likes? Also, let me clear some things up. Number one, both body types are beautiful. Two, I was simply curious about why they changed it so much. Three, I haven't seen a tweet about this myself. Ha, <laughs> right. Since I'm not on My Hero Academia Twitter, but I found those pics on Google. So yeah, S-T-F-U. And then they say, uh, these guys with DBZ icons are real mad over this tweet. It says that they are horny. You know what? Who really is in this case? You going on Google, saving these images to your computer and then posting them to Twitter, to the public and crying about it? Or the people who are calling you out for recycling an argument? People are not mad over you crying about... Like people... What does that have to do with being horny? That's such a weird argument. Why would you even say that? People are just upset that you are recycling the same argument that we've already seen. If anyone is feeling that way, it's probably you, as I said. You're the one who got these pictures, saved them, and uploaded them, you weirdo. Now, is there something weird about enjoying this art? No. Is there something weird about going out of your way, saving it, crying about it on Twitter, and then backpedaling and acting like you didn't mean to actually do that? Yes, in my opinion, there certainly is. It gets worse. They say, uh, I, My Hero Academia stands, don't follow me. I left that trashy fandom a long time ago. I literally just saw these pics on Google at 2 a.m. and tweeted about it. Uh, no, actually, it doesn't even add up the timing. We'll get to that in a moment. Not expecting to get any actual likes. Although, let me let me take a step back on the timing part because I don't know what time zone they're in. But I'll show you the timing in a moment. Let me just scroll that part so I can uh, make that uh, make sense here. So if we take a look at the timing, they posted their first tweet saying, can we talk about this for a second at 3.46 p.m. my time. Again, I don't know what time zone they are in. But then they added to that tweet the next uh, the next day, basically. About 12 hours later, 1.42 a.m. in the morning on June 23rd, they added to it. Now, that's important for another reason, which I'll get into when we scroll back down here. I just wanted to point out the timing because it kind of doesn't match what they're saying. Again, maybe they're in a different time zone, but maybe they're lying. And I find uh, it 
rather likely that they are lying, in my humble opinion, based off all of this. Now, let's talk about the complaint itself, because this, again, is a copy pasta. This exact complaint was made in 2019, which I covered in a video titled My Here Academia Attacked. People claim Momo is not chubby enough. Once more, I have a hyperlink uh, right here. So you can hit the article up and take a look to that video if you want. Of course, you can also search for it on YouTube, but it's probably easier to just click the article and then get it from there. But hey, maybe I'm wrong. Uh, so anyways, so from 2019, this person, Aaron, says, This makes me so pissed. The way the anime goes out of their way to make the girls way thinner than they actually is so. Momo is naturally chubby because of her quirk. What? <laughs> but the anime makes her out to be some unrealistic Victoria's Secret model just to overly you know what to her and i'm just wanting to puke and links the same images oh my gosh look at these people man <laughs> and they got the gall to say that they're really not trying to copy other arguments really it continues as you can see above now k is simply recycling this previous complaint just like others have done before when called out for what, ha uh, what excuse me when called out for what appears to be copying previous complaints which were already lacking merit to begin with the user feigns innocence and ignorance. We have some tweets here. Let's take a look. Baku Goat says, uh, it, it quotes K and says, why does my clout post, which has been used by many people before, have 10 likes? It says, guess we'll never know. Thinking emoji, obviously being sarcastic. K responds and says, did you even read what I said? And also clout post, I gained like seven followers from this tweet. I genuinely don't care about clout at this point. Now that has a semblance of truth to it, in my opinion. I, I, I do believe that they probably didn't really gain any followers from this. And I see it all the time. But the thing is, people don't really, uh, they're saying that after the fact, right? They're saying that after the fact. Beforehand, they could think, I'm just going to copy this tweet. I'm going to get thousands of likes and I'm going to get a whole bunch of followers. Doesn't tend to happen. And I see this across all sort of fandoms, not even just anime fandoms, but other fandoms and just random people on the internet as well. They will copy complaints that were previously made and try to get clout from it. They'll have a tweet go viral. Let me actually rephrase this example. Uh, e even if they're not copying a tweet, if someone has a tweet go viral, you can take a look at their account the next few days and chances are they really won't gain much from it. I've seen some tweets gaining 200,000 plus likes on an account. And I look at that account the next few days because I'm an, analy I'm an analytical type of guy who can barely speak English. <laughs> I'll make fun of myself there. I apologize. But the point is I find analytics interesting. So I will follow up with these subjects that I cover. And oftentimes I see a tweet goes viral on an account and that account doesn't go anywhere after. So yeah, I just wanted to mention that. Bakugoat then says, funny how a lot of people who use the same post like to claim the same exact thing. But if you say so, it must be true, right? Shrug. K says, literally look at my bio, profile pic, anything. I'm not on My Hero Academia Twitter, so I don't see My Hero Academia tweets. Simple as that. That's not how life works. You saying you're not on My Hero Academia Twitter doesn't magically make sure that you never see tweets related to My Hero Academia. That's not how the Twitter system works, the algorithm and all that. It has to do with people you follow, the timeline, you know, all this sort of thing. Twitter doesn't know that you don't like My Hero Academia and it'll just magically be sure you never see anything like that. That's not how this works. As a matter of fact, I would argue that you have an anime profile pic. You might be into some other type of anime. There's a high probability that someone you follow, that somehow on your timeline, something related to My Hero Academia will pop up. Especially when you're the type to complain about this. Like, even if hypothetically you didn't see this before, you're the type to complain about the outfits and how the characters look. I, I, I don't doubt for a second that you're the type to have some buddies send you this complaint and be like, can you believe what My Hero Academia does to women? Or something like that. And then you just, you know, you look into it and you then copy pasta, what you saw go viral before. I mean, there's so many situations here that can explain this. And they all seem more likely than the excuses that are being provided in my humble opinion. Now, do you remember when I mentioned the timeline thing, the timing of the tweets? Let's talk about that, starting with this set of tweets so you can get the full context for this point coming up. Hinata says, why are y'all talking about clout? You're ignoring the whole point of the tweet. No, we just see through the deception. The point of the tweet was probably clout. That's what it probably was about. K says, it's because this has been tweeted before. I didn't know. But yeah, people are saying I'm tweeting this for clout when I was genuinely just curious. Keep that in mind. Their excuse is that they are genuinely just curious. We'll get to that in a very brief moment. Hinata says, I'm just, I just don't get it. I guess, you know, I'm, and then three question marks. I suppose that means I don't get it, basically, or I'm confused. I don't know why you can't just type that. I'm confused. You got to do it like all like that. Okay, whatever. I'm question mark, question mark, question mark. Just ignore them. They're genuinely stupid. <laughs> okay. And I understand that you were simply curious on why they changed it up so much since I am too. Yeah, who's 
Who's really the stupid one? The one just believing the person who's probably a liar on Twitter or the people actually thinking analytically about it and understanding what's going on behind the scenes and probably the true scope of the situation. Now, talking about data and evidence, let's go back to these tweets. So their excuse, right? is that they were, uh, they, they, uh, they just wanted to talk about this, right? They were just curious. Uh, to get the exact quote, they said, I was, genu I, I was just, no, I was genuinely just curious. But the first tweet only said, can we talk about this for a second? There was no question there, and that's all they said. Can we talk about this for a second? That's it. There's not much, there's not much uh, there. It, it's not much of a prompt. It's not much of a prompt at all. And then 12 hours later or so, that's when they decided to expand on it, saying, why the heck does this have over 10 likes? Also, let me clear some things up. We already read all this. The point is the timing. The timing, man. The evidence is not on this person's side, in my opinion. I have a big X to doubt on all of their excuses. But let me know what you think in the comments below. That's all I have for this segment. I got to say, this was a little bit more fun than I expected. I was not really not looking forward to talking about this once again. But it's such a ridiculous, absurd topic that it kind of was fun to talk about after all. I guess it all worked out. I'd like to take this opportunity to give a big thanks to all of you for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed this video. I should have some more coming up in just a few hours. And I want to give an extra thanks to the kind people who promoted yesterday's final segment of the day over on Twitter. If you promoted it elsewhere, many thanks. My system only tells me on Twitter in the first 20. We got X, Tony D, Mega M, Baku Girl, Brightster, We All Live in the Matrix, Two Zippos, DXDKJ, Shield, Warrior, Amazing Ronin, Deshaun M, Intimidator 0108, May, uh, May Media, uh, <laughs> let me, let me try this one, May Medalesia, May Medalesia, there we go, The Ice Cream is Just an Illusion, M, Phantom, Aaron C, Shogun, The Dinosaur King, Pot on the Brain, thank you all for tuning in, and I look forward to seeing you next time. Call out, call out, hey.